Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. This is James Donner and we are playing Project Reality. Now we have loaded up Gaza Beach map and play as the IDF or the Hamas in a cooperative setting. I have chosen uh, to play with the Hamas side this map and you can uh, see that there are different kits available to spawn with and there are squads that you need to join before getting into combat. Well, you can be a squadless long war, but this game is not really about running around alone, but sticking with your know, teammates and cooperating. Well, in this video we will play with the rifleman or the warrior class in this case. And we will choose a spawn point and attack uh, another capture point from this one that we already own. There is this symbol that shows that the Hamas side owns this capture point. And that is the Israeli flag that is over their deployment area. There is a grey flag. The grey flag indicates that that capture point is not yet captured and both sides can fight for it. If you are ready, choosing your kit and joining the squad and then choosing the deployment point, just click done. We will spawn. Now, since we are playing in cooperative mode with bots only, the game offers us a choice to be squad leader. This time we will decline or reject this. We will only play as a simple infantryman, rifleman or Hamas warrior. There is a really important feature near the bottom of the screen. It is a compass, as you can see. You can call in enemy positions, sightings, contacts, if you like, uh, using your compass to show how much degrees, uh, how many degrees away from the north point the enemy contact border. can be seen from your position. There is a marking that shows the next waypoint that you are ordered to follow. Of course you can flank around, it is a bit more important in the situation or more appropriate rather. This is a friendly unit, you can see the bot's name over their heads. They would be human players, their names would also be displayed. Green means they are from the same squad that you are. Blue means that they are from a different squad but still friendly players. And there is a number for their name. It also indicates that they are the leader of that squad. You move around with WASD or WASD or whatever you have set in the controls menu. Can bring up the map with the M key or power map mapped into the set. You can see here that there is a marking that indicates where our character uh, currently looks. There is a 
marker the market waypoint, capture point. There are blue and green dots on the map screen. The green are friendly units uh, that are from the same squad as you are. The blue are other squad members, they are still friendly. There are identified threats on the map, they will also appear with uh, bright red icons. You can also bring up the map within the caps lock key. Here you can see foil squad members. Uh, this marking means that they are mostly dead. Not nice side. Well, this game has a down sides option and also hit fire. If you get hit, you get this wound wounded screen, and uh, you can deploy again by hitting the enter key. Or you can call for a medic to get you back to the combat. Get me a medic over here! You see a button with uh, two different options associated to it. If you hit the left mouse button, the left option will uh, be considered you want to use. You will get before the like. <coughs> I give up. We got some We get hit, we get red vision, blurry vision. If you get hit shortly after you have been wounded, you will get dead on the screen. You are dead dead, so you cannot be put back to the normal biomedic. You need to respawn the exact spawn point. In cooperative mode, there is also a squad leader point that is not always available. See, it is highlighted in red right now. It means the squad leader is in combat, so you cannot spawn your squad leader. However, when your squad leader is somewhere around the place and he is out of combat, you can spawn ne uh, near to him. Well, we cannot spawn any longer a emplacement capture point because enemy units are close uh, to that capture point. So we will respawn as warrior. We can change our Available any kind of kit that you choose. We'll stay with the standard. But I think the alternate weapon is also useful if you find it more flashy or just like the looks more or just feel feel you are more successful with the alternate weapon. Feel free to choose that. It is not that much of a difference in this case. Uh, there are Rifleman kits which uses uh, sports scoped rifles and the alternate version is a scopeless rifle. We spawn in our squad leader. And now no we can so we'll stay with it. One of the most important features of the game is the use of the comms rolls. Just hit and hold down Q if you use default keys, and uh, you bring up a list of basic commands. If you need ammo, you Requesting need ammunition. The need ammo. If you need transportation, some vehicle to pick you up and send you. To a different location, 
I need to for a pickup. Well, bots won't really respawn to most of these. The need medic is uh, most useful in this case. This is an order that the bots will try to respond to. Well, there is also the marker that indicates that we are ordered to go that way, but it is a bit more safe to bring up your map and then figure out a way to get to that way. If you hold down the spring key, your character will be a sprint and you will notice at the bottom left corner there is a stamina indicator. It will show you how much energy you have left. Energy. An idea of soldier. No. Well. If you are pretty new to the game, well, it was quite fast. You can get a good look on the bodies on the ground just to figure out uh, how does the opponent side look like, how do your teammates look like, just to get an idea about get me a medic over here. what to shoot and what not to shoot. And I have a feeling that I have a terrible Russian accent right now, even though I have never been to Russia and I'm not Russian myself. <laughs> it's a bit funny. <laughs> Well, if you hit down the cap, hit the caps of key, you get a map Ready. where you can uh, watch where are, uh, those medics can revive you. Well, we just do that. Way. Well. That I wanted to say was uh, on the map there are those red cross indicators that show where the medics are. Well, there are some suspicious movement, so enemy forces we can report contact using Tom's rolls. Aiming down the sides and then going prone gives you the best accuracy. But most guns, rifles have quite high recoil even when you are prone and aim down the sides. Bots will also try to stay prone whenever they can. And you can bring up this menu, menu with the scroll wheel, and uh, here you can change between your equipment. The field dressing is really important. And you get this red screen, and you are slightly injured. You can use your field dressings to gain back some health. Here you can see some friendly soldiers, and you can pick up their kits and their equipment. Just didn't shoot. Well. When you hear this sound, you might be in big trouble because the magazine is empty. Now we are in big, big trouble. 
Group or field pressings. Ho ho ho. Well, seems it wasn't enough. We just left him. <coughs> oh well, this was quick. Medic got here and up this. That is someone suspicious. Trash there. Well, there is an idea of sword. Him. Oh, wow. Always be careful. Try not to shoot teammates because that can get you banned if you do it a few times. Deploy a match or actually. Any time I play a real player. I have to comply with my teammates. This time we get by my opponent. And on the top of the screen, you can see a countdown. Every time you get wounded or dead, there's a countdown. prevent you from spawning rapidly just after getting shot so <sighs> try not to get shot because you don't want to stare to that screen for minutes or even just for half a minute try to survive the ski in the battlefield Wow, that's a huge amount. Enemy forces spotted. Well, we have saw. Well, we saw that what our primary weapon is capable to do. It is very simple. The rifleman has some extra gadgets, other than the field dressing. Which is also really useful to give some first aid to teammates. Since whenever you use it, you don't strap yourself with it, but uh, strangely enough, it works like this you drop it on the ground, and any nearby teammates get healed a little bit, and then it gets used up. After we have used the field dressing, it cannot be selected again. There are also binoculars. It is a fairly basic tool, gives you a really good vision. You know, spatial awareness is key to survival. Shut down someone. There is also this really nice bayonet. Most uh, hits have some kind of melee weapon. It is instant kill. So sometimes when you are indoors and your magazine just got emptied, such you can get out. This knife, knife some people, but uh, most of the time it is not all that useful, but it is right there, entrenching too. It is useful in deployment games, when your squad leader 
orders the construction of some kind of building like a forward operating base or pops hole, razor wire or anything like that uh, you can assist uh, the building with your trenching tool extra ammunition is a fact can also be dropped on the ground and uh, nearby friendly units will get some magazines or their weapons from it maybe a grenade it is very useful to replenish your ammunition there is also the fragmentation grenade but it is a bit trick to use and really dangerous See? You need to look up very highly to get a decent range with it. Oh, oh kind. <laughs> well. Thanks, man. Thank you. So you can emote with the bombs rolls also. Most of the infantryman kits only come with two grenades, but you can replenish those with the ammunition bag. Well, what are you doing? <laughs> whatever works, or whatever does not. You can see there is a purple marker on the screen that shows our current objective is to defend the location. It's about 48 meters away. And it's a capture point. We chose to defend on the idea. Well, it's a lucky shot. Here is our squad leader. There is only another friendly unit. You can see their name if you hang on the sides. On quite a base. Okay. If you hit the caps lock key, <coughs> you can see the map and the current status this flag. Now it is currently neutral and not being captured by any of the teams so we have just about the same strength as the forces in the area. We need to change that situation and turn the lights in our favor. Okay. Yeah, close. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. So. Okay. Which one is that? Most of the time, it is most useful for the team if you stick together and defend your objectives, or rather your capture points. Other times, you are ordered to move forward and uh, capture point that is owned by the opposing side. It is, you are also strongly advised to move together as a team. Someone has the right there. Oh. 
Someone on is You have seen a door, right? And it is from the suppression. If you get shot or a shot is nearly missing you, you get this blurry effect. And uh, that makes you uh, that makes harder to aim. If you are, are surprised, you can barely see anything, and it also flies your op opponent. Oh, we got shot. You can also give up if you are wounded and uh, you are in a situation where you don't want your medics to be in because you are getting you get shot in a place where uh, you your body is clear for, uh, to shoot from multiple angles then it is not really safe to call a medic in because the medic will also get shot and your team will lose more tickets I think I covered most of the basics of the role of the basic infantryman. It's quite simple. And don't forget, if you play with other people, communication is key. So it is James signing out. Have a good day. Goodbye.